itself wasn't addressed. It was like the gentleman pointed out. Nobody did anything about it until just recently, really. Today, mid-Michigan veterans learned more about what the PACT Act can do for them. Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin led a town hall this afternoon to address questions and concerns coming from local vets and their families. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. David is off tonight. It is a law that was passed to address veterans' health care needs. Well, now they know more about how and where they can get that coverage. News 10's Riley Connell was at the PACT Act town hall earlier today, and she joins us live from the newsroom to share what veterans and lawmakers had to say. And veterans I spoke with today said that a law like the promise to address Comprehensive Toxics Act has been a long time coming. They came with many questions about what this legislation can do for them, and they were glad to leave with answers. Many of the veterans in this audience are hoping for answers and help to get the health care services they need. Some have waited decades. It took me uh, 30 years to get my, my uh, benefit from the VA. Not just for treatment, but for an acknowledgement of their exposure to life-threatening toxics while overseas. It felt like it was non-existence. I mean, there was no information, no uh, reaching out. And now I love the idea of the vet centers and presentations like this. Having been in the service herself, Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin says she knows the struggle it's been for vets to receive care. She says most of the vets people meet are dealing with one of the 23 illnesses covered under the PACT Act. And sometimes they started out small and sometimes they became quite serious. And for me, it's part of the obligation the country has when we send someone to war is to care for them for things that happen to them when they serve in those combat zones. Congresswoman Slotkin addressed a number of questions from vets who want to know how far their coverage goes and what boxes they need to check off to qualify. Anthony Wilson says it feels good to have answers, but a few concerns remain. A lot of the questions that were being asked, a lot of veterans are asking. One thing that the, the older vets, like Vietnam vets, want to know it, it, with the darn uh, pit thing, what they're going to expedite their claims because time not on their side. We're just a few months shy of the one-year anniversary of the PACT Act. Congresswoman Slotkin tells me that a lot of progress has been made in a short amount of time. But there's still work to do to make sure that vets are being served like they've served us. Live in the newsroom, Riley Connell, News 10.